Hi, I'm Dr. Gianna Craig. I work at Greater Hartford Women's Health Associates and I see patients in West Hartford and Hartford, Connecticut. GBS, also known as Group B Strep, is a normal bacteria that is found on the skin flora of many women. This bacteria colonizes the GI tract and then can end up on our skin. It's actually present in up to about 30% of women, really 30% of people at any given time. This is different than Group A Strep, which is the type of bacteria that causes strep throat or um, infections like that. Group B strep rarely causes infection in healthy adults. Um, however, it is one of the leading causes of neonatal or newborn infections and unfortunately can also cause severe infections and sometimes death. We test for GBS because even though it rarely causes serious infection in healthy women and healthy adults, unfortunately this bacteria can cause some severe infections in newborns. Unfortunately these infections can be life-threatening, but if we know that a, a mom is at risk of transmitting this infection to her baby, we can intervene. In terms of risk to the baby, if a mother tests positive for group B strep and is not treated, there's about a 1-2% to 2 risk of transmitting that infection to the baby during birth, um, particularly during vaginal deliveries. Um, of the babies that do develop an infection to group B strep, about 2% of them can develop severe infections um, such as sepsis, pneumonia, or meningitis. Group B strep can cause infections in mom as well, um, sometimes a bladder infection or a urinary tract infection. It can also cause infections to the uterus both during and after pregnancy. Um, rarely it can even lead to an infection prior to delivery that is so severe that it could cause a stillbirth. We routinely screen all pregnant women in the third trimester between 36 and 37 weeks of pregnancy. The test is very easily obtained and we just use a, a cotton swab to swab the vaginal and rectal openings um, and send that swab to the lab to see if the bacteria grows. If you test positive, your doctor will recommend that you get antibiotics during labor. The presence of this bacteria is very easily treated by using IV penicillin during labor. You do not need antibiotics before you go into labor unless you were to develop another infection, such as a urinary tract infection. When we use antibiotics to treat moms who are, are known to carry group B strep, that actually lowers the risk of infection to the baby to one in 1,000 from about one in 100. So that's a really big, big difference. If you've tested positive for GBS, it's especially important to call your doctor with the onset of symptoms of labor or if you think you broke your water. This is because we would like to initiate antibiotic treatment several hours prior to delivery. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your provider or contact us for an appointment at womenshealthct.com.